Everybody. Everyone. Okay. It finally happened. All right. The video upon video of Alphaba has finally caught up with me. And she has seen one of the videos. And we've got a couple of options here. All right. Do you think she either A, got very angry at me and argued about the videos that I've made about her? Or do you B, think she called me pretty? So Alphaba responded to the video of me and Jake Baz discussing and ranking her top controversies. So today I just thought we'd watch that together along with some other hilariously mind-numbing videos of hers. So my sister literally rang me to tell me that as she was watching Alphaba's live, she could hear my voice and she was like, what, what is this madness? Someone had already clipped up this live of her watching the video of me and Jake Bass, which if you haven't seen already, you should go and watch. It's a very good video. The link in the description. So yeah, let's let's have a look. We ranked every alpha the drama. Wait, what? Look at this one. Curl up and die. Simply business, you name it. She really did not want to give us any ad sense there. She's like, skip this ad. F monetizing these little This is very interesting. Like, what hell? So hello everyone, I'm Jake Baz and today I'm- Hello everyone, I'm Jake Baz. Sorry, Jake. Special guest in Miss Cataclysm, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Hello everybody. Today we got a very good one for you because we're going to be rating some of Elphaba's dramas and scandals and I'm so excited. Are you? Yeah, it's my favourite pastime. Oh, uh, I need to watch this. I'm excited too. Like Let's get all excited. My channel. I couldn't tell to begin with if she was being legit excited like she doesn't understand what is to come and that she thinks we're gonna just be doing it in a a way that makes her come out as actually not the bad person i don't know because like the way she was getting excited i couldn't tell if she was taking the piss alongside me or she genuinely thinks that this is an exciting thing for her to watch which would be kind of concerning considering with picking apart her controversies but let's continue uh, i'm i'm yeah. slightly scared about it to be honest she's so scared pretty she's definitely had no con every video i have has led up to this moment and uh you know i knew after she called out alex that she would eventually see uh a video where i speak about her in perhaps a negative light and i mean guaranteed i am always very respectful to you know the extent i can be i try not to be too personal in the things that i say i may crack a joke here and there okay shoot me so it was it was an it was yeah it, it was interesting to see her say oh she's so pretty like girl have you not watched all my videos you know i'm not telling you to be mean but if you had seen all the videos i've made about you and the things that i say about the things that you have done i don't think you would be very happy uh, but we'll 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 wait. I mean, I'm not complaining. Uh, thank you for the compliment. Uh, it it it's it's nice, isn't it, to be complimented, even if it is by Alphaba. I can now say that Alphaba has called me pretty. I don't know if that's a flex or maybe the sign to end my career before it really starts. Controversies, no scandals. Oh yeah, you're right. She, she's not been involved in anything. Absolutely nothing to fear. And yet, to yeah, nothing to fear. Honestly, in, no. In, in, honestly, in to, uh... is this is this is she being sarcastic? Is she being sarcastic because she knows she's done a lot of bad things? Because I'm saying, absolutely nothing to fear, my goofy-ass voice in the background. I'm saying that because, like, you know, cue all the controversies that she's been in. I can't tell if she's going along with the joke, because if she is, that's kind of funny. If she's not, it's kind of concerning. Spice no. things up, uh, so no. I've collected a load of scandals. We're going to rate them. Uh, We're going to rate them. The worst, most abominable ones, uh, S tier, down to, like, a, let's not talk about it, but as you probably know, uh, there's probably going to be a lot more up at the top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, uh... Right, moving on. She's bored. Yes, so... She's bored. The contact card machine. Ah! <laughs> No way. I don't think you're meant to get that excited. I don't, I don't, I don't think that was the point of the video that me and Jake were going for. It's so Alpha begins to go, oh my God, oh my God, the car machine, a one, like, ah, like it was some silly, like drunk moment with your best friend, Jennifer at like 10 PM in the club. And you accidentally had a little bit too much to drink and spilt your drink on one another. Like, oh my God, do you remember that? <laughs> Not like, Oh, um, yeah, I accidentally just bought a car machine to try and charge my fans for photos. I can put in the amount, right? And this is what it does, watch, watch how cool this is. I hope that's a look of embarrassment. For a split second there, I saw this kind of look of shame. Like, look, look again in her eyes. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, I'm seeing some shame and embarrassment there, as you should, though, as you should. Uh... I kind of wanted her to bite back a little bit more at this because uh, there was nothing really to actually say 
inter in you know in terms of her responding to me i'm not saying i want drama man i mean i mean i know that's my career but like i don't know it was kind of a bit like I've been edged, you know? It's like, I, I do all these videos, I, I call her out on things, she finally watches the video and she calls me attractive. I, I give up, man. What, what, what do you want from me, guys? What do you want from me? Uh. Wow. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that is pretty cool. I was gonna say, I love how it says uh, five pound payment declined. I thought she was earning bank from these TikTok lives. Subscription. TikTok lives. Subscriptions. I get it. I get it. No, no, definitely not, darling. Just write down. I don't know if you've ever been in a shop, but uh, I haven't necessarily found that part of the experience pretty cool. She's like, guys, look how cool it is. I'm going to take loads of your money, even though I do absolutely nothing on live. How cool is this? Girl, come on. Uh, so let's let's look at what she says to that because I stand by that, bro. You do absolutely f all. I mean, neither do I really, but I do a little bit more. Like I actually put videos together, you know. But you do nothing, and I I, I stand so firmly on that point. No, I do absolutely nothing on live. How cool is this? Girl, come on. I actually do, bitch. I sing. I go out. Yes, I do. I vlog, I do hauls. Vlog? Where, when do you vlog? Walking around live streaming, doing all these things do, does not class as doing interesting, money-worthy things. You sing. Uh, you sing Defying Gravity for the seventh, billionth, trillionth time. Probably off-key. Hauls? The hauls that you've managed to afford things because of the money that people have donated you under false pretenses. Girl! Don't give me all of that, all right? I know. Your controversies, that's what this video is on, okay? You can't girl your way out of this. Your content, uh... <laughs> Sorry, you can't just say, if I say what content do you do, if someone says to me, someone's like, oh, oh so Katie, what, what are you getting up to these days? Don't know why I went cockney there. What are you getting up to these days in the old uh, job sphere? Because that's what people's, you know, I get asked, I'm a third year uni student, what, what are you planning on doing, Katie? Oh, oh, you know, I do content, online content. Oh, oh what content do you do? I mean, you're earning money. You, you must be, you know, uh, smart content, good, you know, interesting content. Oh, I'm not going to skit. I don't get how they do it. Must be pretty good content, you know, interesting and watchworthy. Yeah, yeah, I do content. Yeah. That was a waste of time. That was not good. Just skip past that bit. I sing. I dance. I do makeup. I do get ready with me. I do basically what other people do. That is that is something online. What people... I'll show you who doesn't do anything. Brett boy. I don't give a... This is a whole other little side story that got unlocked through this experience. Some other TikToker that she's got beef with couldn't give a f to be honest. Sure, um, Rat Boy, Rat Boy, Rec Boy is, is probably a, a, a sound guy. I don't know, but honestly, I just can't be bothered. Don't know where. Oh, hold on. Maria knows best. She's got a good track record for keeping Alphabet in line, making good decisions. Yeah. So yeah, I'd say. Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say oh, soon, I think. she did not like that. And and the funniest thing is, one of my biggest videos on her to this date is Elphaba's mother is a problem, and she has a problem with that. What I just said, girl, you have no idea how dark and deep these videos on you go. And I'm actually, I, I hate saying this, all right, because it, it comes across like a flex. And I'm not flexing the fact that I'm respectful. Some of the content creators out there, some of the TikTok shorts that I see posted are really disrespectful and they are really vile. And I, I genuinely, I get hate comments directed to me on Instagram, so into the comments that I'm a bully. I am as respectful as I can be in these situations. You know, I'm not, I don't, by the way, I, you know, full preface here by saying I don't need, a pat on the back for respecting her pronouns that i know that is the bare minimum but there are content creators out there that will not do that i i, I stick to the the bare minimum i do the most i can to be respectful which is you know a human right and cry about it if you don't agree with me on that one honestly give me all the all oh, wrong pronouns why are you pre referencing her that but i, I don't i don't give a fuck what you have to say in that sense i honestly i don't your opinion's not needed here it goes in one ear and out the other trust me you're wasting your time typing that out but i honestly i try and be respectful i don't come at the stupid stuff you know i may make a joke here and there but sue me all right
Uh, safe middle ground. I would probably put it in B, but uh, seeing as you're the guest, I'll, I'll give you. I'll Thanks, Jake Baz. That's really so kind. So, in the same sort of line of work, we're going to be now going to the fifty pound subscriptions. That ah, she's doing that's there, so funny. I mean, it's a perfectly normal amount for anyone to spend. I don't think you're meant to be. I don't think the point is you're meant to find this entertaining. I, I don't. I think it's been lost in translation somewhere. I think it has. So. Five. I think 50 is ridiculous, to be honest. I think it should be 500. Uh, that way, all her hard work and efforts are being rewarded. Well, that's not bad. That's not a bad show. I might do so, that. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I think, I think she's undercharging. She got me I there. I can only imagine how much like money as she's actually got from the subscriptions because it has to be like a certain everywhere. Type Look at like, I'm a, I'm a topical is not is not is not is not is not, is not, is not uh, the the word. Michael Jackson can be topical. Phil Philip Schofield was topical. Ted Bundy was topical. Well, that's not a... F that's not a flex. So that topical. 50 pound line, you've got... That, that's a lot... I love it. You're not meant to! Oh, you're not meant to love it! Oh, release me! You're not meant to love it. That wasn't the point that wasn't the point okay you weren't meant to enjoy it you were meant to take a good hard look at yourself in the mirror like this and think what have i become what am i doing with my short existence on this planet you know that sounds like a threat as in you know we're on the planet for a very short time compared to the time that the world's been around okay moving on before i get sued that all mean Girl, that's not a flex. Oh, I don't think he's a good photo of me. That's good. That El Faba is a name on TikTok. That is wild. Wild. My brother in Christ, you are the most hated person on TikTok. Well, one of them anyway. You're not meant to be scrolling through the multitude video diaries made about you and think, oh, well, I look sexy in that one. Oh, I look good in that one. Although actually having said that, a small podcast, of which I will not say their name because uh, they scare me, uh, made a video on me, a two hour video. And you know what? Credits to them because the picture they put in the thumbnail of me was, was it was, it was, <laughs> It got me, uh, I was, I was happy with that one. I was. I am so tired of life. We <laughs> heard before. The yeah, okay. And then she goes on to watch uh, another YouTuber. I remember his name, an American dude. If you go find this video on TikTok, you'll be able to find him. If I can find him, I'll link it. But yeah. So the thing I'm going to just show you briefly next is the McDonald's clip, which you've probably already seen, but I'm going to show it you anyway, because that's how commentary works. Uh, Alpha went into a McDonald's in Manchester where she proceeded to shout and yell at probably 4, 3 a.m. I'm a pet. I'm a trans, my pet. Trans rights are human rights. Trans rights are human rights. Uh, one thing I wanted to say... Um, a little weird controversial side opinion, all right? Everybody's saying in the comments, you know, social anxiety is mad. I I, I understand that and I also don't. I'll give my two cents on this because it's, it's a little bit different to what I'm seeing. I, myself, uh, I don't suffer from great social anxiety, but I did. Um, when I was growing up in, in, in secondary school and sixth form. I mentioned it previously before, I was bullied quite badly back in secondary school. And I got quite bad social anxiety as a result of that. So when I would drink with my friends, when I would go out with my friends and drink, yes, in secondary school, judge me all you want, I would feel so much better. I would genuinely be a lot more louder, outgoing, probably very fucking annoying. And yeah, it, it genuinely for me, alcohol would relieve that. And maybe that means that I didn't have true social anxiety. I, I, I can't tell you. I thought it was social anxiety. I'm 99% I'm sure that's what it was. But alcohol genuinely would help me. You know, altering the decision-making process and kind of taking away a bit of, bit of the shame that you should really be having. Um, but then I also do understand she does claim to have really crippling social anxiety. And I do believe that, yeah, I, I guess it's hard to believe someone with that level of anxiety and mental health problems would be doing this, especially as someone who represents themselves as a trans rights kind of activist and a a a trans icon almost that's how they see themselves i'm saying you i don't think shouting that you are trans and getting loud and being very irritating to people is potentially the best route to go down and i'm not saying that's how it should be but i am obviously all for trans rights you know that goes without saying i just believe for 
your safety, that is just probably not the best idea. And I'm sure we can all understand why. The world still isn't, you know, at a place where it should be. And I think it's a little bit of a dangerous game doing that. Um, but mainly, it's just annoying because shut up. Like, no one wants to hear you yelling and screaming at that time. If I'm at Mackie's that time, I'm at a low point in my life and I just want to enjoy my night out. I, I don't want you screaming in my eardrum. I've just arrived TV news and I just saw Vice News and uh, the Scabies outbreak. Oh, I have a lot to say. I have a lot to say. Oh, I have a lot to say. Oh, I have a lot to say. Oh, I have a lot to say. You usually do. You usually do. I go on TikTok. I'm like, oh, just, you know, I'm just going to go on the for you page, just like Queensway. I go on there and I see ITV News, Scabies outbreak. Oh, okay. I'm like, oh, yeah, what other comments going to be? Alphabet, alphabet, alphabet. <laughs> Girl, I did not cause an outbreak of Scabies. I took all necessary measures. I don't know for this one whether she did cause that scabies outbreak. I'm going to say no, considering that would be very, very, very coincidental, but she definitely didn't help kind of keep them in one spot, spreading them around, collecting them all like Pokemon. Honestly, I, I, yeah, it's funny. I get why people like to say Alpha because I highly doubt she fucking did, but she definitely didn't help control them. So just thank you very much to you. I had to catch it from somewhere in the first place and I will call out this place. I called it from prison in Bristol. But that's where Prison? She got, you caught it from prison? Comment saying prism. The club. Oh, I mean, that's worse. That's worse. Caught it, and that's why other people caught it. It might have been on the surface. Maybe someone else had it before, but there was already an outbreak way before I had it. Um, the news covers things much more later. So um, there was already a shortage in creams when I had it myself. When I went there, I had to go to a place. I had to pay like thirty-six pound. I did all the treatments. Um, and yeah, it's just crazy. I can't actually believe, I can't believe that people seriously think. I mean, she says that she did all the safety measures when she literally didn't. She did not. She In that video of her like crying and screaming because she wanted to go out, she was like, fuck it, I'm going out anyway. And second of all, I don't think it's that hard to believe that people are going to blame it on you. First of all, no one really likes you. Secondly, you literally made it your entire personality and bragged about spreading it to CLA. So, I mean... Can you really complain? All you want, haters, because you're the ones who watch me and want me. I'm the baddest b in TikTok. You're a and you want to try and end me, b please try me. You can try and watch my lives all the time, but always know that I'm going to rhyme. I'm going to rhyme. I'm going to slay and you can gift me all day because I'm the baddest b in TikTok in UK. You know my life every single I'm I'm the baddest watch and day, period. <laughs> okay, so my boyfriend's a producer. He makes beats. Um, you should follow him. I'm, I'm gonna link him in the description. He he makes good beats. Follow him. He makes my outro beats. I'm gonna tell him to come here and react to that. I need you I need you to watch this. Um, so I just wanted to show you this. I was trying to explain that you make beats for like UK rap. Yeah. So I was like, I thought oh, you okay. could give. <laughs> just seen the caption. I thought you could give like your professional opinion on what yeah. you think about this. But I'm just gonna win. You can try and hate me all you want, haters, because you're the ones who watch me and want me. I'm the baddest bitch on TikTok. You're a and you wanna try and end me. Bitch. Please try me. You can try and watch my lives all the time, but always know that I'm gonna rhyme. I'm gonna rhyme. I'm gonna slay. You can gift me all day because I'm the baddest TikTok in the UK. You know my life every single day. I'm I'm the baddest watch and play. Period. <coughs> period. You like the flow? <laughs> Oh, hard. Was it hard? Yeah, I'd let her rap on my beats. There you are, guys. Posh Teddy said he would let Elphaba rap all She's over his slay. beats. Whatever that says, whatever that means. Okay, fuck off now. Okay. You can stay in here, but you have to be quiet. Okay, thank you. I'm almost done. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move on from that one because that kind of gave me mental problems. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Do you know what I got last night? I don't know what these are, but I got them. Um... Oh.
I've seen this clip before and it gives me the ick. It really gives me the ick. If you couldn't tell what she did, right, she's she's like, oh my God, I had a crazy night out. And then she's like, oh my God, what are these? And then she whips out a pack of Johnny's, okay, which clearly says the naughty, the naughty S word, okay? It says S-E-X on the front of it, right? Flashes in front of the camera and then she's like, oops, what the hell? And then she like throws it away as if like she had no idea what that was. Like she's, she's flexing the fact that she gets that, Fire D. Okay. <laughs> Don't know if I'll keep that in. <laughs> um, I'm like, you know what? Fair enough, Queen. You flex that. Uh, I, You be liberal. I, You, you do it all. On things. Um, I think Gypsy Rose um, should not have killed her mother. <laughs> <laughs> what is your opinion, okay, on Gypsy Rose? Well, I think Gypsy Rose shouldn't have murdered her mum. Uh, wow. Thank you, Elphaba, for that really deep insight. Uh, we will really just do bits of that information. I'm not even going to finish that clip because it genuinely makes me lose the little tiny individual brain cells that I have left. And it's just not even worth showing you because it's, stu it's stupid. It's a stupid take from a stupid person. And on that note, I am going to leave because I am bored of seeing this person on my screen. And yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I will kill you. <laughs> thank you very much for watching, guys. Do you want to do the outro? Come on, baby girl. Hope you guys enjoyed that Alpha Book Classic. Well, he had his opportunity and he lost it. So, yeah, you heard it, guys. See you soon.